Hello and welcome everybody to a new Mature TV video. Today we're gonna talk about my first impressions of the season five Ryu changes. Cue the intro. So let's just put it out there. V skill 2 sucks. It sucks very, very bad. Like it's it's just it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Like if you watch my previous video and you can like you can tell how much how much Ryu mains had hope in this V skill 2. Like we once we saw the move, we saw the potential that that this move had. Like th this move could have been something very very great. Instead Instead, I feel like Capcom were just very scared of it. Like Capcom were just very scared in terms of balancing it. They thought that if they make this move actually good, then it would be OP. I feel like they thought about this. So they they took they took a good concept, yeah. They took a good concept and nerfed it. Like before they even released it, they nerfed it in every single way, yeah. And then boom, they they put it out for us. They they introduced us to us. They introduced it to us as V skill two. That's basically the V skill two. I don't understand why would they do this. The V skill people were when they, when they first when they first saw it when they first saw V skill two people were talking about why would you give Ryu a third uh, parry? He already has two parries. He already have the V skill one, and then he already has the uh, the second parry with uh, the second parry which is V skill. V trigger 2 right he has V trigger 2 and he has V skill 1 why would you give him a third one this is not a parry guys this is not a parry a parry is something that you would use in a defensive option yeah this is not this is not defensive at all there is nothing defensive about V skill 2 if you use it in a defensive position yeah it's gonna get you messed up man it's gonna get you messed up you're gonna get hit the thing is it takes a long time for the actual move to come out yeah it takes a really long time I, i'm not sure don't quote me on this but i think it's 25 frames yeah the move takes 25 frames and the thing is like you this entire time you know he's just moving and taking the step forward and all that he's vulnerable like he, he you can get hit and you do get hit you do get hit it's a counter hit you can even get crush counted the entire time like he's just like you know you know, you, you know when you watch an anime and then the the uh the protagonist or the antagonist is just like charging things up or charging his key or like he's, he's powering up and then you're just wondering why wouldn't they just attack him while he's doing that yeah the exact same thing instead over here they do attack you and you, <laughs> and you get hit that is the difference that is the difference like he's he's trying to do all this this doria move and then boom you get hit in, in between i just like man what, what the hell like i thought this was a counter hit like there, there, there's no counter i'm the one who's getting countered right now what is this move what is this move like he's he's trying to do it like very slowly and actually the the the, the gap or the window for the for the parry to actually occur or the counter move to actually occur is very very limited it's just a few frames out of the entire the entire thing I mean, the entire animation is very very limited so you end up literally yesterday i was just trying to to use it in many different scenarios uh yesterday and today i was trying to do it in diff many different scenarios 90 percent of the times i would get hit 90 percent of the times when i would use z skill 2 i would get hit it's either i get hit yeah or the opponent blocks it and then they punch me because it's minus four on block I don't know like it's uh and by the way it doesn't even have a great range like yes he does w just take a, a step forward but then he has the uh crmk the crouching medium kick syndrome where he his, his punch would actually like like penetrate the the opponent's body and then he would not hit so that's one, one thing uh so basically you could get with punish because the he takes a really long time to recover from this move so basically um I came up with I came up with an idea is that you could actually use this move like yesterday I was just trying to test out this idea you could you could actually do this move after a block block string like let's say you do a block string yeah you do a uh, a crouching LP standing MP uh, into a let's say a crouching uh, MK into Hadouken all right the opponent blocks all of this what do you do next you do V skill two. Because that's when the opponent thinks that, oh, it's my turn right now. Let me just, you know, press something. 
Let me just do a heavy punch. Let me just do something, yeah? And then, boom, you hit him with a parry. You hit him with the counter, which is V skill 2. And then, uh, you get something. This is, uh, this is the only application. And this does not does not always happen. It rarely ever it, it rarely ever happens. Most of the time, a lot of people, you know, once you try this once or twice, they would just like block it. <laughs> they would even try to block the V skill too because they know it's minus four. Yeah, they can punish you afterwards. So uh, this could like work once or twice. It's not gonna work all the time. And while you're attempting it, there are, there could be a lot of uh, a lot of things. By the way, it's vulnerable to fireballs. It can it it it, it hates fireballs. This move. It can get beaten by fireballs from any range, from anywhere. Yeah. So basically, you, you know how the parry, uh, or even the blue parry, V skill, uh, V trigger two. If you throw a fireball and the uh, and your your body uh, or the opponent's body, it extends. Yeah. The the uh, the hurt box it extends. So basically, it counts as a hit or like it. It basically like triggers the the animation of the parry. Yes. Here, it does not trigger it. You just get hit. You just get hit by a counter hit. That's all. Imagine if it's Akuma and he open and he hits you with a fireball, and boom, and then he opens V trigger. You're dead, bro. <laughs> bye bye. You're dead. So basically, it sucks. It sucks. And uh, so I was, as I was saying, if you do it after a block block string, it might work, but it doesn't. It, it rarely ever does. It rarely, rarely ever does. So why why does it suck? It sucks because the entire time you might actually get hit. The entire the entire time of the animation, you might actually get hit and the, even the reward that you get out of it is not that great like you cannot even confirm it it pushes him to the end of the screen it pushes your opponent to the end of the screen yeah it does little damage it does little stun it doesn't do much and then you cannot even cancel it on block like if, if, if it's blocked you cannot cancel it to v trigger and make it safe you cannot cancel it to ex hadouken and make it safe or something like that you cannot now you you did it he blocked you're you're, you're done you're done and getting punished so that's it so basically it's it's unsafe it's hella risky it's hella risky it does not give you a great reward yeah you could not use it as a whiff punish because it takes it takes a really long time like we we, we talked about you know him taking a step forward and then punching that's that gives him a long range left for this attack so then we were like you know this, this might help him in neutral it does not help him in neutral because then you cannot whiff punish you cannot do something with it because it takes a really long time for you to actually do something by the time the, the the punch comes out the opponent is already blocking or even you know jumping and trying to by the way if if you do it and then the opponent jumps it's a free free punish it's a free punish because it takes a really long time to recover so then you can come down punish you and all that and if it whiffs the same case so you know guys just don't use v skill 2 honestly like i know that we talked about this for a really long time but just don't don't use v skill 2 at all i would say go to v skill 1 yeah go to v skill 1 try to learn the option selects uh my brother mdz jimmy uh lord mdz jimmy he has some very great videos explaining how to do the uh the parry os i will link it down in the description Go to go there, learn it, learn how to do this, learn how to utilize V skill one, the parry. Yeah, don't do it uh, randomly. Utilize it to pa to parry V reversals. Utilize it to parry moves that are you know special moves that you can actually react to. Uh, supers where it might kill you with chip with chip damage. Uh, you know fireballs. Right now we got a buff for you. Uh, one of the buffs is that the range of the parry it increases. So basically V skill one. It increases so basically it helps you in parrying fireballs more uh the, the, the it's more forgiving now uh this is this is a small a small buff so do that guys do that do not play v skill 2 if you're playing ryu do not do not play v skill 2 honestly it's just it's just bad like but anyways anyways that's that's one that's one thing second of all um uh, let's let's just talk about the important stuff the important stuff is the v trigger buff the V trigger buff is very, very, very good. It's not amazing because Capcom pulled the Capcom move. Yeah, they buffed Ryu and then they nerfed him at the same time. They nerfed, they buffed the exact same thing, the same, the same thing. They buffed it and then they nerfed it in the same goddamn patch. Yeah, they always do this. They have this, 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 you know, this ritual or this, this, uh, this sacred thing that they have to do. 
buff the move, nerf it in the same in the same patch. How? Why? I don't know. They buffed uh, V skill uh, V trigger one where it does not consume any V gauge when you when you do fireballs or when you do shurikens. Yeah, we talked about this in the previous video. I was like, why would you why would you punish me? Why would you penalize me for anti airing while I have my, my my V trigger on? Yeah. Why would I lose my V trigger because I anti I did something good. So now that this, this does not happen, you just open your V trigger. It is it is actually very good because back then you would actually do you could actually do like five uh, fireballs or like six fireballs. Now you can do eighteen fireballs with V trigger one on. But they shortened uh, the entire V trigger time. Capcom has to be Capcom. Yeah, the the, uh, the tradition continues. Yeah, <laughs> the tradition continues. Nonetheless, it's a very, very useful uh, buff. It's one of the best buffs that uh, Ryu got. It's the best buff that Ryu got. It's actually the most useful. It allows you to pressure more. It allows you to uh, to what to zone more, which is very important. If you're a Ryu player, you, you cannot zone well. I suggest that you go back to the training. Uh, so this will enable you to zone more because then the fireball to recover quickly, faster, much faster than the normal uh, fireball and it's also faster so let's say the opponent is trying to jump and then you throw it boom he gets hit this is well known uh also one thing that the people don't know it's been it's been a while uh not it's not buffed in this patch or anything but it's been a while crouching medium punch is actually plus three on black instead of plus two on black during v trigger one while G while v trigger one is on it's plus three on black so then you can actually like pressure more with it try to do crouching medium medium punch and then micro walk afterwards uh, this is something that you can you can actually utilize if you uh, if you're very good at that. So the V trigger buff is actually very beautiful, and I'm glad that uh, that Capcom actually listened because I actually mentioned it as as an option of how you can actually buff V trigger one uh, in my previous video, and I'm really glad that I I don't know if Capcom watched it or not. I don't know <laughs> maybe maybe I'm influencing Capcom. Maybe this whole you know this whole YouTube channel or this, this these whole videos are actually doing something yeah who knows? who knows but anyways uh i'm just glad that capcom did something regarding this and it's uh it, it, it will benefit all of all of ryu players all of the ryu mains it will benefit them me one of them i'm looking forward to utilize this in matches that is one all right one of the things that people are talking about people are hyping this a lot and i don't understand this people are hyping this buff a lot now you can actually link a ex ex donkey kick okay into a light tattoo everybody is just in love with this and i'm just like i'm just like there you know thinking about this why do you guys love this why why is the community you know loving this buff i don't really understand what 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 is the purpose of this buff like we know ryu likes a lot of stuff and out of everything capcom decided to give him this buff why and I, I just keep thinking about it because then yeah it's nice yeah you get you get damage and then you also get corner carry okay we agree on that but is it worth it though is it worth it like i'm see every single time when i do every single time when i jump or every single time i get a a convert or like i get a hit like from a from a standing mp or like a jump or something like that i think the first thing i think about am i gonna go for corner carry am i gonna go for extra damage yeah those are the first things that i think about if i'm going to go for for extra damage what do i think next do i have the meter if i have the meter is it worth it to spend it yeah let's say i have one meter only am i gonna spend it for extra damage and then stay without any meter huh and then let's say the, the opponent is akuma and he jumps a lot with fireballs yeah what am i gonna do to that if i don't have any, any ex yeah so i think about these I think about these options if i if i lose the, my last my last ex bar what am i gonna do next yeah i think about this is it worth it to always exp always spend that ex bar so in this case is it worth it to get to 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 uh, spend this this extra ex bar and then end it with a light tattoo is it worth it people say that you get a you get a you get oki afterwards you get uh corner carry which is true but you should also remember that you can actually get the same oki yeah, and the same corner carry without without doing the EX uh, donkey kick. You'll get less damage, true. Uh, I, I, I believe that uh, if you do a jump in, uh, 
heavy punch into the target combo then you do the ex dog AK to light that so you will get about something like 325 something like this damage yeah and if you do it without the dog kick you will get something about uh speaking of light tattoo you will get something about you know 279 damage something like this uh which is uh, which is a notice noticeable difference but then you get the same benefits you get the same corner carry you get the same oki and your saving bar which is something you really need for ex for ex hadouken which you will need for neutral remember guys you will need it for neutral you get it to get out of you know uh, sticky situations with an EXDP or something like this. So, if I'm not doing this, I'm either going for uh, if I'm not doing these two, op two options, I'm going for full damage and I'm ending the EXDP with a heavy uh, the, the EX Dunk Kick with a heavy BP, yeah, heavy Shoryuken. So that gives me about 350. So uh, there is a fourth option. There's a fourth option that people just seem to be forgetting about completely, which is ending the combo. Yeah, the EX Donkey Kick with a Light Shoryuken. End it with a Light Shoryuken. You get the Oki. You get 300. You get 332 damage, which is more than the 325. You get more damage than, than doing the Light Tatsu. Yeah, and you get the Color Carry. You get the, you get the Oki. You get you get the same things that you get from the Light Tatsu. Yeah, but with extra damage. Then so why is this buff? so important i feel like i feel like capcom just wanted to you know just wanted to shut us up they just wanted to give us something to make to make us feel like oh yeah they gave him multiple buffs they gave ryu multiple buffs this is not a this is yes it's, it's something extra but it's something that i would not i would not use i hope i hope this is like I, I don't know maybe i'm missing a point but you guys tell me you guys tell me i uh, people are telling me why would you hate on getting more oki why would you hate on getting more uh, corner carries because of this because of this because I need other stuff there are other stuff that Ryu actually needs and then Capcom just ignored all of them yeah and then gave us this like like okay like I'm, I'm hungry I'm dying of, of, of hunger yeah and then you come here and then you give me like a an Xbox Elite uh, controller and here we go it's, it's the latest uh, from Xbox I don't need it bro, I don't need it, I need something else, give me something else, give me something, give me a, 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 a better conversion out of the standing heavy punch, give me, uh, give me what, give me a longer V trigger, yeah, don't, don't shorten it, yeah, give me, give me, give me a buff that I actually need, give me a buff that I actually need, I don't need this, I have, I have an alternative, I have other good alternatives for this move, no, alright, next point. The next point is basically uh, they did a buff, they gave Ryu a buff for uh, the medium tattoo and the heavy tattoo. I think the first hit right now it hits. So basically this is better in, uh, in converging combos. Uh, previously sometimes when you do uh, max range, standing MP, uh, crouching MP into medium tattoo, it will whiff. I think the first two hits would, would, would actually connect but then the medium tattoo itself would hit and it would leave you open for a punish but if you do it if you do a heavy tattoo it would connect now uh you can do a a medium tattoo and it would connect all the time it's very it's very nice it's actually very neat and something that uh i feel like it's something you know it's a it's a basic thing it's something mandatory we, we needed that so i'm glad they, they gave it to us uh, but then everything else everything else just seems the same like uh, they, they gave him like 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 uh, you know donkey kick ex donkey kick now you know travels uh, further you know things like this but then everything else just feels the same man uh, one more buff there's uh, the crmk the crouching medium kick uh, buff now it reaches uh, further yeah this is nice this is nice i can use it as a as a poke i could use it as a poke but then there's another issue like we we took we took instead of taking one step ahead we took half a step what what am i going to convert this extra range with yeah what am i going to convert this crouching mk with am i going to convert with, convert it with a hadouken is it going to be reliable no if you do it from make from from max range the hadouken will actually get blocked like say let's say the crouching mk guy like you hit with the crouching mk the crouching medium kick but then the Hadouken will get blocked from my strange. It's not reliable. It does not connect. It's not always a combo. Uh, the other thing is the even the medium, the better solution 
the better not the best solution the better solution is doing the the medium uh, canceling the crouching medium kick into the medium donkey kick it is a better solution it's not 100% reliable I would say something about like 80% sometimes we whiff and we know we all know that uh, the donkey kick it takes a long time to recover so then you open for uh, either you know uh, blocking or for either for punishing or with punishing uh so basically it's 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 a good option and you know the crazy thing is the the weird thing is i'm noticing that when the opponent is standing and i'm trying to and i try to cancel my crouching mk with a medium dog kick it is not reliable but when the opponent is crouching it is reliable it, it, it connects all the time i don't know i don't know why uh that is that is one more thing so the best option the best option is still either to expand ex uh, ex hadouken or it's pen bar for an ex hadouken or you could actually you know you have to take another you know uh another another step that you have to take in consideration which is whether the opponent is standing or, or crouching if he's standing you can do the the, the heavy tattoo or the medium tattoo that's another thing that you players have to worry about which is not nice which is not nice i was just hoping that they would they would give him something better yes this the crouching mk buff is nice but what's next what's next what am i gonna convert it with that is still that's still not there that is still that's not that's still there's no reliable option yet there's no reliable option so for me this concludes uh the buffs the important buffs there are there are several things they have changed but these are the important stuff uh i feel like i feel like ryu is still the same um excluding the the v trigger buff including the V-Trigger buff, I feel like Ryu is still the same. He is... I, I, I feel like I feel like saying that he is the same is an, an understatement. I feel like he's better. Yeah, he's definitely better. I feel like the V-Trigger buff definitely makes him better. Uh, the Crouching MK, it's better when when poking, not when, you know, converting to combos. Uh, and I feel like, you know, uh, the V-Trigger buff, it opens more opportunities for him. He is better in that aspect, but overall we were expecting better buffs and you know uh, better improvements and more than that. But I feel like uh, we were expecting a lot. But uh, at the same time, you know, when I think about this, like, I've been like, why would why would Rashid have a move that is straight out of Dragon Ball Fighters? R Rashid, like Ryu, got this very Ryu is a very low tier character. Not a very low tier character, but he's, he's, he's a bad character. Yeah, he needs a lot. And then you gave him, you gave him a move that is basically useless. While on the other hand, R Rashid is the best character in the game, and you give him a freaking instant air dash. You give him an air dash from uh, straight out of Dragon Ball Fighters. I don't know what Ono was watching, you know, before before developing these or before coming up with these ideas, but he was. I, I would say like 90% he was probably watching you know Dragon Ball Fighters he took that move that the air the air dash move and just boom gave it to Rashid and he could do it from anywhere in the jump anywhere man this is not an anime fighter bro <laughs> this is not an anime fighter this is this is street fighter for God's sake man and you give him that kind of move it's insane it's insane i can tell that this move will will make rashid even more broken will make him even more sickening rashid and bison bison they gave him a vanish i was i'm telling you they they took they took every, they took these two moves straight out of dragon ball fighters he, they gave him a fan a vanish that is actually meterless and plus two block that's even broken in the Dragon Ball Fighters. If a character had that in Dragon Ball Fighters, which is a crazy game with crazy combos, with crazy mechanics, yeah? It would be broken. They gave it to him in freaking Street Fighter. Why? 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 Bison was already great, man. Bison was already top five. Rashid is already top one. Now you made him like what? Top top zero? Like what the f and this, at the same time, they chose to give Ryu these kind of stuff. So it, it, it's really pissing me off. Uh, but then at the same time, they nerfed uh, other stuff. I was talking to MDZ Jimmy the other day on his stream. And he was telling me that uh, the, the best buff for Ryu is that his opponents or his, his worst matchups, they got nerfed. 
excluding uh, Dalsim. Now that I think about it, excluding Dalsim, Dalsim got buffed. So excluding Dalsim, <laughs> um, the other the other uh, bad matchups they got nerfed. Uh, speaking of Birdie, Birdie is the worst matchup for you. It got nerfed. Uh, a very important nerf that will actually make the uh, the the uh, the matchup playable. Yeah. I'm not gonna speak about Rashid and Bison, uh, as I've already talked about them, but I imagine these matchups are still gonna be bad. Uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. It needs more time when we're speaking about matchups. It will take us more time to, uh, not just me, it will take er everyone else more time to realize the potential of the matchups and how to analyze them and how to approach them. And what is the, uh, where's the current state of the matchup? Is it bad? Is it good for, for which, whichever character? Uh, but speaking of the character itself with Ryu, I feel like right now we can get like a full, uh, not a full, but then we can get like a pretty good idea about how, uh, how he is and how good he is and how bad he is. And, um, right now I just feel like he, he took a step forward. Yes, it could have been 10 steps forward. It could have been 10 steps forward. He has the tools, but then Kakon just decided not to, uh, open up the potential of all of these moves. Uh, and he just he's just still I feel like I feel like tier tier list wise he is still in the same place I feel like he's still in the same place he got a buff in in, uh, in his health and his stun but that's something universal I feel like ev uh, almost everybody got these kind of buffs I don't know what's the uh, what's the idea over here from Capcom I feel like they uh, I, don't, I don't know what's the idea uh, why would they buff everyone's health and stun uh, Maybe they just want, uh, they just don't want you to, to, to die fast. But then I'm also hearing news of you getting more damage after a stun. Uh, so I don't really know. It takes more time to realize that. But anyways, this is to conclude this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll you'll be seeing more of my Ryu season five, and hopefully that I can get to Grandmaster uh, very soon with Ryu in season five. I feel like the uh, the trigger. Uh, the V trigger buff will actually help a lot. However, you will not see me using V trigger. You, you will not see me using V skill two at all. Yeah, I tried it for like one a day, a day and a half, and then I was like, nah, nah. Me, just fog, and this is Jimmy. We were all like, man, this is just, this is just garbage. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.